Hey, welcome to this radio video and today I thought uh, I would uh, actually uh, bring you to a website of a old shortwave friend of mine, Radio Sweden. Radio Sweden is a station that was on the air on shortwave for a long time and um, they left shortwave uh, a few years ago. But you can still listen to English language 30 minutes every day from Radio Sweden. And I wanted to uh, send you to that page. Now, there are uh, several ways of going to the page. You can go to the sferigesradio.ce, which is uh, the address you see here. I'll put that, of course, in the notes and the commentaries. You can click on it. And if you go to that page, it's in Sweden, in Swedish, sorry. Um, look at the top row here. You have news and other languages. When you click here, you can click English and it brings you to the English language page and you can click listen or download the mp3 file of uh, Radio Sweden which is nice if you have an internet radio like my Sanjian uh, WFR20 I have here you can also um, you know subscribe to that podcast so they have a 30 minute um, it's the same 30 minute type program you had on shortwave when they were on and uh, they are weekdays only so Monday to Friday you have the podcast and in weekends they don't do any English podcasts um, you can of course download all of that put it in an mp3 or your um, iPod and uh, listen to it later or you can also listen to it directly I've noticed that when I go to the page on my iPhone if I click listen 30 minutes or download, uh, it actually is going to start um, and I can listen to it even on my iPhone. So why not go to the page of Radio Sweden? I noticed that when I type Radio Sweden English in Google, uh, it also shows up as Radio Sweden, Sveriges Radio here. You can click that, brings you directly to the English page. But apart from that, you can, of course, go to uh, the website that I'll be putting. Actually, I'll be um, putting both links, the one for the Radio Sweden Direct page and the uh, Radio Sweden English page. And why not listen to Radio Sweden, Voice from the Past? I actually, um, it's one of the rare stations, actually, that left uh, shortwave that I actually listen to regularly in English over uh, the internet, um, which is rare because a lot of the stations that left shortwave, I've not really uh, gone to their uh, web page to listen to their broadcasts. Got a few, uh, Radio Sweden, there's uh, Radio Slovakia, Radio Prague. They all have English uh, broadcasts and actually I'll give you the hints and the pages to go and listen to online. Um, one thing that we have to notice is the fact that we have to understand that um, you know shortwave is a great great hobby but unfortunately some stations decide to actually leave and um, it's fun to uh, you know know that we can still listen online if we can't listen on shortwave I think both are great resources so uh, have a good listen and hope you listen to the Radio Sweden shortwave broadcasts uh, every weekday on their webpage. So thanks for watching and uh, 73.